Don't go up there! Careful, careful, careful! Oh, I wouldn't do that. Don't go up there! Very stupid. Don't go up there! Silly cyclist! Welcome to episode 38 of Silly Cyclists. I'm your host, Cycle Gaz, and I know there's been a two month delay uh, from the last episode. I'm sorry about that. I hope this one is action packed and you re- enjoy it. So, uh, starting right off with number 10, clip here from Martin the Mad, and this cyclist goes around the roundabout the wrong way and then uh, lane splits down the road. Um, I've listened to the original audio, and the driver seems to be, you know, not sounding his horn, revving his engine, but this cyclist still doesn't like him, gives him the finger, and continues to ride down the middle of the road. Uh, there's, there's really not much point in this. Don't know what he expects other people to do around him. You know, we try and accommodate other people by doing this, moving to the left when it, and letting them pass when it's safe to do so. Um, it's the sensible thing to do, uh, and not like his actions at the start. So, number nine, a clip here from Cycle Oz, and that was what that cyclist just crossed, was the stop line. This is no ASL here, this is the pedestrian crossing, and this cyclist feels that he has to be be in it, and you're going to see he has to scoot back to let people cross, and he continues to push his way forward. This is technically, you know, breaking the law, jumping the red light, uh, and it's no better than just cycling through the crossing, uh, through the whole intersection. Number eight, a clip here from Schnell. I'm uh, not sure if I'm quite saying that right, but you're going to see here a cyclist coming up on his right who then wants to take off to the roundabout. Um, you know, if you're not sure about what other people's actions are, then it's best just to hang back and not cut across them like that. Number seven here, a clip from Four Chords No Net. You're going to see a cyclist coming from the right of the ro- of this road. It's going up the tram lines, which you're not allowed to cycle down, and going the wrong way, forcing Four Chords No Net to brake heavily to avoid a collision. Number six here, clip from myself. You see the lights have just gone red, and I'm going to let the original sound play here so you can hear what I say. Stop at red, mate. Stop at red. It's a pretty simple concept of stop at red. You know, there's a red light, you stop. Everyone knows to do that. Um, and when there's people crossing, just give way to them. You know, better to keep them safe than uh, to, to hurt yourself because you're probably going to come off worse at those sort of speeds. Anyway, uh, number five, a clip from XL Network, and damn, that was close. These segregated cycling facilities don't keep you safe from city cyclists who, uh, you know, oh, God, on the wrong side, counter steer. Oh, too close, too close for comfort. Definitely very silly. Number four, a clip from Hot Black, Diasto and Co. Uh, basically, there's a cyclist going to filter through. You're going to see the uh, he's going to stop just to the right. The two cyclists to the left are going to have a look. What he, I expect he did was catch his pedal in a wheel arch, made a massive loud bang on the original video. The driver asked him to pull over, and he doesn't. He just continues on his way. So silly for doing some dodgy filtering, which you couldn't fit through, and also for not stopping. Number three, a video from GoPro HD Time Lance takes the corner a little bit too fast. Ow, and he hits the deck. Front wheel lost traction, I suspect, because it was too fast, too tight. And on this bumpy section of um, concreted paving slabs, which the Americans do seem to love. Um, so, yep, yeah, that's going to hurt. I can tell you that now. That is going to hurt. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Done that twice myself already this year. Number two, a clip here from Blackbird XXXXX. I think that's the right amount of X's. Anyway, the guy in front with the burly trailer takes the corner a little bit too tight and the trailer flips. Now, the surprising thing is he actually has a kid in the back. Luckily, he's all fine. He's strapped in. Nothing harmed. Uh, so it's all good. But you can see here he takes a very different line to the guy behind him. He takes it much tighter. It just, just pushes the weight around on the burly trailer and it just, just flips over you know, just when you carry, when you're pulling something like this, you need to take it a little bit slower, a little bit easier on the corners. Actually, surprised he stayed upright as well. Don't quite know how that joint works on the back of the bike, but uh, obviously, it's uh, it's not rigid. It has some sort of movement in it. Number one clip here from Latent Nick. And the first time I watched this, didn't really understand what was going on. I had to watch it a few times to see exactly what happened. And ten uh, percent. Um, slow mo here is definitely going to help. You see a nice image there of the, the shard at London Bridge, London. In fact, I think Europe's tallest bid building. Very nice, very nice. Anyway, you're going to see this cyclist coming into the picture any second. Is going to jump the red light. Does so at a very gingerly pace, taking it very easy. Obviously, cycling is obviously very hard for this guy. He doesn't even want to stop. He needs to keep his his whatever motor, momentum he can get up. Going to see in the left section of the picture any second now. A cyclist coming in. He's got a green light. He's taking the turn, 
Uh, and the cyclist at red light jump gets in his way, so he tries to brake. You're going to see as he comes through, he's got a fist full of that front brake and perhaps the back brake as well. He's just not stopping. His brakes aren't set up properly. He's not checked them or something. They've, they've broken, I don't know. But uh, he's going to put his foot down to try and slow down. Go Has to go through the pedestrians. It looks so close. Uh, luckily, he didn't hit anyone. He didn't hit anyone behind this guy. Didn't hit any cars, luckily. You can see their fist full of that brake. Got to say, the guy in that red light jumped, silly for causing the whole thing. Um, the second guy, you know, that just went through, got to be a bit silly. You haven't checked your brakes. Uh, you need to make sure you check your brakes before you start every ride in case something like this happens. Uh, something pulls out in front of you and you need to do an emergency stop. If your brakes aren't working, you're never going to stop and you may not have an escape route like this. Or your escape route may already have pedestrians on it, you're going to hit a pedestrian. The last thing you want to do is hit anyone. So just make sure that your, brakes, your bike is in working order before you set off each time. Anyway, this episode Savvy Cyclist comes from T1 Sutton and as you can see here it was from quite some time ago. Um, so cyclists in front all fine and dandy on the cleared road cycling perfectly fine but as soon as they turn into a side road it's not quite so nice you're going to see they're going to have a little bit of trouble slipping and sliding all over the place and uh, they do the wise thing and decide I'll get off and push for this section and uh, luckily you know, got a good driver of T1 Sutton behind her who uh, gladly waits and lets her get off to safety before he continues on his way. So, you know, very nice bit of uh, road use from both of them. Um, very good. Anyway, yes, so it's been two months since the last episode. I'm sorry about that. Was a bit preoccupied at work and busy and etc etc um i'm hoping to do these episodes every two weeks or whenever i get a good quantity of clips in to do an episode basically so uh next week i've already got the next episode planned it's going to be a top 10 of episodes 11 to 20 i did one of these previously for episode 1 to 10 when i first created the separate channel um so hopefully there's some good clips in there and you're all going to enjoy it and uh hopefully the next wait for the next episode isn't going to be <laughs> so long anyway thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed it don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you haven't already to get future videos straight to your inbox um and yep that's it don't forget to cycle safely